Well, howdy, 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 you guys. I thought I'd do a 25 random facts tag about me in no particular order. Just some things I thought of off the top of my head that I thought may be or may be of no interest to some of you guys. So I just felt like doing it. So number one is I love tomatoes. I love tomatoes on almost everything. I love tomatoes on cottage cheese. I love it on noodle dishes, just fresh chopped up tomatoes. Um, uh, I love to just eat them plain or mix them in anything, but I am, I will go through about 10 to 12 Roma tomatoes, um, depending on how big they are, a week by myself. So, um, I hate oatmeal. Number two, I hate oatmeal. The only way I'll eat oatmeal is if it's in a cookie. But otherwise, I would rather drink my own bath water than eat hot oatmeal ever. I can't even stand the smell. I dislike green tea. Number three, I dislike green tea. I don't care what you do to it. I haven't really found one that I really like yet. I just don't care for it. Um, number four, I'm a cosmetologist. Though I'm not licensed in this state and I haven't worked in the field in years. But I went to school, licensed, worked in the salon, the whole bit. Um, number five, I have to sleep with a light on. Even if it's just a low light, what I like to sleep with on and then what I have on now is a, a salt lamp. And it emits a nice yellow orange glow. But I am kind of afraid of the dark, so... And that has to do with my childhood and my past and, and stuff. So I have to have a little bit of a light on. Number six, I have to have an animal sleeping with me or I don't feel safe, even if it's my cat. <clears throat> um, but I prefer to have it be my dog. What I really like is I generally will sleep on my right side or my left side. And then Charlie will crawl right behind my knees and lay. And I can feel him him pressing up against me, it just makes me feel very safe, you know. Um, I have to sleep on a blanket, as in a super soft blanket on top of my pillows for my face to be against. I just love that, and it's very comforting. I also have, I have a neck pillow that's in the shape of an elephant, a long elephant, and I always have to sleep with that, too. Um, uh Number eight, I hate wine and beer. I haven't found a wine or beer that I like yet. I am not a fan of alcohol taste. The only time I will... The other night I did have two wine coolers. They're not really wine coolers, called wine coolers, but it was a strawberry daiquiri kind. Very low alcohol, but it was a good taste. So um, that's about all I will have, or once in a while some Camorra, you know, in coffee or something. But... First of all, being diabetics, you hardly drink at all, and we are not drinkers per se. Like I said, in all of the time that we've lived in Florida, I've had two drinks, and we've lived here over a year. So, um, let's see. Number nine, I've never done any kind of drugs in my whole life, you know, street drugs or anything, rather than I tried pot twice in my life in my early 20s. And that's been it. Never done anything else. Um, number 10, I've been married twice. I don't know if most of you guys realize that. I was married, my first marriage was a little over five years too long. And then this marriage, here this August, we will have been married for 29 years. So, um, number 11, I am not a big fan of heavy oregano in, in my dishes. If it's got a lot of heavy oregano... Or a lot of real heavy um, minced garlic, I will probably throw up. Um, number 12, I love popsicles. I still love my popsicles. Just these days are sugar free. But I do, I generally will eat, and it's a little popsicle, but I'll generally eat two to four of those at night. That's what I eat instead of eating candy and carbs now. Um, number 13, I used to own and make own a candle making company and make candles and wax tarts um, for a real long time and um, uh, we did a really really 
successful business on eBay for for quite a few years. Um, number fourteen. I used to be a power seller on eBay when during the height of my uh, what I mostly sold was the wax tarts, wax melt, and um, uh, during that time, and you had to sell at least a thousand dollars worth of, of merchandise at that time. That you know, back in, uh, um, let's see, probably 2004 or so, um, you know, uh, I did that, though. And, I mean, I worked 24-7. I would probably do, hmm, trying to think, four, about 16 batches of wax tarts. I, they were all hand-poured, hand-mixed by me. And stuff, and so yeah, that's how we used to afford to be able to take vacations and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, SC, um, uh, number 15, I rock myself to sleep, and I always have done that. And I know that some people say it's part of the Asperger's, um, I just call it kind of a self soothing. Some days you'll see if, um, I will be rocking, uh, and not even realize it. Um, my husband says I also do it when I'm sound asleep. Um, that's something I've always done. Um, number 16, I can draw and paint with both hands, um, either hand, and a lot of times I will do both at the same time, it's basically painting-wise. Um, now I can't write or anything, uh, that way, but I can do artwork that way. Um, number 17, I was a redhead as a child. That's why I have a lot of freckles. Um, you know, you don't see them because they, they somewhat... Faded, but when I was a kid, man, they were really pronounced. Um, number 18, my best friend as a child was my, uh, dog. Her name was Taffy, and I just loved her to death. Uh, number 19, I would love to have some days, I would love to have, uh, you know, our own home with, I would like to have some chickens, and I would like to have a pet pig, you know. Or maybe, and maybe a pet goat, or a couple of pet goats. Um... Uh, number 20, um, I dream of having a beautiful garden with, you know, an archway and maybe a gazebo, and we'd like to put in a little, little, uh, fish pond, you know, koi pond, uh, you know, kind of a Japanese garden, and then, you know, your vegetables and everything. I dream of being out there in a straw hat working and uh you know that area would be fenced off and then the dogs are frolicking in their fenced area just having a great time and of course then there'd be some butterflies fluttering um number 21 i love to people watch that's probably my favorite thing to do uh in fact if uh like brad has to run in to cvs and get the prescriptions he'll ask me do i want to face the street or face the building because he knows i just like to people watch uh, number 22, I hate zombies. I hate zombie movies and zombie TV shows. Um, even though I like, I like the look of zombies, I am not a fan of, yeah. But number 23, I collect horror props on that note. And, uh, yes, yeah, so a few of them are kind of zombie-like, um, which is fine. Um, in fact, my cell phone case is a monster cross zombie. So, but, um, yeah, so I collect horror props. I also collect, um, uh, gingerbreads. Oh, that's number 24. Is I love anything with gingerbread. Uh, that's my favorite Christmas thing, and I, I like to have them out year-round, um, gingerbread men and gingerbread women, and I absolutely love that. Um, and number, uh, 25 is, um, I've always fought, so I've always had insomnia, even as a child. I'll go through periods, uh, where, um, uh, I, I will sleep really well for a while. Like, a couple weeks ago, I was telling you guys how great I was sleeping. And then I'll go through, like, right now I'm going through a period where I just really don't want to sleep at all. You know, it's like coming at 4, 4 a.m. and I still don't want to go to sleep. And... I mean, the amount of stuff I take to fall asleep is just incredible. And I'm still just like, and I might sleep for a couple hours and I'm up for now. 
But it's just a cyclic thing, and, you know, eventually I will get so tired out that I will kind of drop for all, an entire day. So that's all I have for you guys. I know it wasn't that fascinating, but I just thought I would do one of these to say I had done one of these. So I've done one of these. And I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.